13 members. It's Navarro Head Trader Penance Talks Club 13. It's Saturday, December 17th, 2022. And I'm gonna give you a quick look into the watch list, a quick detail of technical analysis so that we can be prepared for next week's trading activities. Before we do so guys, this is just a quick reminder that I'm not telling you what to buy, what to sell. This is simply for educational and entertainment purposes only, so you trade at your own risk. All right, so now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. I wanna start with COSM. This is just something that we have to talk about, guys. This is history. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this ever. Over 5,000% return, guys. And there was so much going on here that it was just ridiculous the way this happened. So apparently COSM had a reverse split. It started out at $6 on the reverse split. Have no idea why. It was a one for 25. It was about around 20 cents at the time. And it opened up at $6 on Friday morning. It got dumped all the way back down to 0.25 cents. And then it just squeezed to over $23, close to 24, as you can see here in this chart. It was just ridiculous. Now, now that's not the only thing that happened. Um, I did not trade it, so I was not aware of it, but I was looking up on news on it. And apparently, there were some platforms, some brokerages, where they were not allowing the sale of COSM. So if you would buy into it and you were up ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars, you couldn't sell, you couldn't take your profits, which is crazy. I mean it doesn't matter how how far and how high it goes, you would just want to take profits sometimes and let it run as much as it you know it'll go. But when you can't do that guys, the squeeze is gonna happen. It's just going to happen. There's no way. There's only buying going on. Only a few platforms let you sell. Another platforms didn't let you. So, you know, that's what we get. And, and it's just historic. Now, not only that, that they couldn't sell. I believe there was a mistake as far as the split. And, or, or there were two, two stocks that had a split, right? They had a reverse split. It was COSM and it was NH. And some people who were buying into COSM were getting the NH share. So they would click on the buy sell on the COSM uh, ticker. But the brokerages making the mistake of the wrong stock were selling shares of NH to the ones trying to buy COSM. So, that, you know. There was just a huge mix up and it, it was just crazy. It's unheard of. And um, the crazy part about it is that those that couldn't sell, that couldn't take profits, guys, I'm gonna take you the one day, three minute. Here's what happened, right? So it opened up at six, came all the way back down to 0.23 cents, as you can see. And then the rest is just pure, pure, pure squeeze, guys just or, or i mean not even squeeze I, I believe maybe most of the shorts were out and it was just momentum and then of course if you all have seen my videos a perfect storm comes in where people try to sell those that could and then there's more buying and then of course those that those that could sell then they needed to buy to cover they sell again they need to buy to cover sell again need to buy to cover and and there you go there's your squeeze and then those that couldn't take profits once you could and it comes all the way back down. I mean, if you're up here at sitting at $100,000, you're down here here sitting at, at 50,000. I mean, it's still profits. There's nothing wrong with that, but I mean, come on. I mean, it's just, I would be pissed and I would be out of my mind that I couldn't have taken those $100,000 and I have to settle for 50,000. I mean, either way, but that's uh, something that I wanted to put up here, COSM. Now let's get down to the watch list and target talking about COSM and this huge squeeze. We've traded this one before for profits and I'm gonna start with COMS guys. COMS, it has the potential 
to squeeze. Will it squeeze like COSM? I don't think so. There's no way. Um, COSM was just the perfect storm. So many things gone wrongfully right for COSM, which created the perfect squeeze and a historic squeeze by, I mean, in the history of stocks, right? But here is what I think is a possibility for COMS. And this is something that we um, have to understand that it can happen, but it does not need to happen, right? It's just like everything, it's a risk that we're taking. We gotta understand that. If you wanna hold on to your risk, that's up to you. If you wanna cut your losses, that's up to you. Again, I don't never tell you what to buy, never tell you what to sell. You trade at your own risk. So here we go. Here's my analysis here. As you can see, oversold stock is coming down. Right now, it seems to be trying to reverse. We got this huge push up and it hasn't broken uh, below the lowest sold price here. We are trading above some of the EMAs. Now with these, you know, we got this indecision candle. I would like to buy right above it, around that point nine. 0 0.095 level buy it and then of course we got to break through this zone right here that I have where, where I have the green and purple line so let me go ahead and make it a little bit better so this zone we need to get through but I mean I believe if we can get through it we're gonna have a huge squeeze we're gonna just take off COMS has the potential to squeeze and squeeze really hard guys so you know be aware of that i would like to take a, a good entry here maybe even that up here i don't know and then just continue rolling with it right how long will this take i don't know it might be one day like cosm it might be a few days we just need to see volume in it when it's squeezing we need to see the trend we need to see everything that's going on as you all that have been here before you know how squeezes work you've seen those straight squeezes and we just have to look for those breakout levels. We can always sell, buy the pullback, and keep on rolling with COMS. So that's the first one. I'm gonna switch gears here to MULN. I believe this one is setting up for a huge gain, guys. Look at this, oversold from $6, just crashing all the way down but we see the increase in volume. Now this could be related to the in, uh, current price level, right? The lower the price, the more shares people tend to buy, so therefore the increase in volume. Now that's not the only thing here. We know that the government has invested in uh, um, electric vehicles, right? Now MULN has been one of the top stocks as far as electric vehicles go they've got a whole slew of positive news coming out which might help them get some traction get some momentum get a squeeze right now there's a lot of shorts in here guys there's a lot of shorts now having said that you got to be expecting volatility if you don't if you're not willing to take a 10 15 percent dip then you shouldn't even be buy, trying to buy this type of, of stock. It's just going to be volatile. It's going to be crazy, right? And the way I trade, I, I'm I'm probably going to be scaling in, right? I will be scaling in, but here's what I think might happen, guys. I'm going to zoom into the current price level here, to the current action, and then we're going to take a deep dive into what might happen. Two possible scenarios, right? So let's go ahead and get into this right now. So one thing that could happen, we already broke above the 50 EMA. So I'm gonna zoom out so that I can explain that scenario. So what's the trend here, okay? We've got the nine, the 20, and the 50 being resistance levels. That's you know common in almost every single stock. We need to see a break of trend, okay? Right now, we're right in between that break of trend, right? We broke above it, closed right, on the 50 EMA. Now we close below it, but we know that if we get that 29 EMA bounce here, then we can see that push higher. So let's go ahead and dive into that. Okay, so let's say, first scenario, we keep on going lower and we take that bounce off the nine and the 20 EMA here. Now keep in mind, it's sitting right at 24, the 20 EMA, that's that purple line, but 
when it opens up on Monday, this line might be up here around 26 cents, right? So let's go ahead and draw our 26 cent level. Okay, and that might be a possible bounce. Where could we take an entry? Well, I would say somewhere here on our confirmation of the bounce and somewhere here, right? We see this bounce here. We see this rejection around this level. So let's go ahead and put our line there. I believe this would be our buy zone for the break over the 50 EMA. So I would be buying anywhere, anywhere here, guys. Oh, excuse me, I did not catch the right tool. This would be my buy zone between the 28 cent and 20 and 30 cent level. This is where I would want to be loading up on, on the, this kind of stock, you know, and then my stop loss, of course, would be down here. So this way I would have this as my risk let's go ahead and change this to red this would be what I would be risking if I enter at around 28 okay so what percentage is that so from here to there it would be about a 7% loss now could I bring it all the way down here and give it a 13 10% move that's fine that's up to you but where can we go from here well, if we're gonna expect a big squeeze, we got room all the way up here, guys. So we're risking that much in the red to make this much. How long will it take? I wanna say maybe maybe a week. Maybe if it does go, it's gonna go, but it's gonna have to come back down because we've got earnings coming up in a couple of weeks, guys. So I would be aware, I would want to be worried about that. You know, it might squeeze and then depending on earnings, come back down. So if it does happen pre-earnings, if this squeeze happens, we wanna make sure we take profits and we don't be holding on to it through earnings. Okay, so that's MULN. Now, speaking about EVs, if MULN takes off, if Mullen Auto takes off, it might be the catalyst for other EV stocks, LCID. Um, man, I, I got so many on my mind, I just can't think of them right now, But we all know them and I got the list of all EVs there. So uh, we'll be looking at other EV stock, stocks if MULN takes off. Let's move on to the next one, SMMT. So what's going on with this one guys? Just a beautiful, beautiful run and right now it's flagging. It's got this beautiful pennant shape right now. And it's got room all the way to five guys so i got everything here for you let's go ahead and zoom in i got the entry here at three dollars and 80 cents we could add at four right because this is a psychological level if four gets broken this is our starter this is our add and then we have the continuation all the way to five for a total gain of minimum 25 percent guys now, how further could it go? Let's go ahead and go to the three year, the weekly chart, right? So why did I select five? Well, look at this level here of support, previous resistance, and look at this right here, support, 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 support. So it's expected to be resistance as we go up there, right? So that would be a profit taking level. So that's SMMT. Let's go ahead and continue guys. I'm gonna try to keep it short next one FTFT now this one's a little different kind of trade guys so again let's look at at the historical data that we have for the previous year right rejected at 50 rejected at 50 rejected at 50 you can see the trend okay and if, of course it's a, a downward trend now we break above the 50 EMA now here is the scenario guys you got to put yourself in a mindset of okay it's got a huge stay on the increasing volume. Just relative volume right here, Com relative volume. Of course, you compare this volume to the relative volume in the past two or three months. As you can see, very low volume, and today, just a huge, huge, huge increase in volume. What does this mean? This means it's a reversal, or potential reversal, right? A signal that it's gonna reverse. The does it mean that it's gonna continue on Monday, just continue going higher? No, we have to anticipate that it's probably gonna come back. It's gonna flag, it's gonna do a curling pattern. It's probably gonna come down, maybe ABCD pattern. We gotta look for some kind of consolidation, 
right now yeah there's sometimes that it just continues moving higher but we got to be worried of those we don't want that to happen we want to make sure that this is a true reversal and we get some kind of consolidation if we're waiting for that we got to make sure that we do start buying start a starter down here add and then add to full position as it's breaking this level right so this is something that you got to be thinking of and this is the way i trade you guys have known me before You've seen my posts, you've seen my videos, this is what we look for, right? So we have this level here, we can set the alert. Once it crosses above, you know, we'll be entering at 46 cents. Right now it's trading at 42, 42 cents if we look at the bid and ask, right? That's where it's trading. So if we look to the one day, three minute, you know, look at this, yeah, it looks, it doesn't look that bad here and that's good because look at the volume look at the way it traded and if it can you imagine if this starts looking like real formation real candle formations where there's enough volume and then it just take, takes off i mean this could be a huge squeeze it's just got so much potential for that it i'm gonna see if i let me see if i can do this for you i'm gonna go to the five day five minute just look at at this formations it's horrible it's i mean I hate it there's nothing here and then look at this increase in volume it just looks a tiny bit better so just imagine guys and this is something that you can look for when you're trying to trade stocks that are about to make a big move you're gonna see that there's really hardly any volume candle formation is horrible then it starts to look a little better with a little bit of increase in volume we get that little curling action and then when volume pops that candle formation is gonna look uh, let me see let me try Apple it's gonna look something like this guys where you got nice beautiful candle formation like this right so that's something that you can use for trading now we have this have this or, or what I'm talking about that candle formation FTFT and of course we got a beautiful setup in the daily oversold oversold by a lot guys where can it go well we can look at the most current resistance level i see this level right here that's one oh excuse me i had the wrong tool that's one level right there around 57 cents then we have this support support uh, resistance so you see this level here right so we're, let's go ahead and mark it right there so we got 70 cents and then finally we got this resistance resistance so this would be our max, our max potential to 90 cents. Now, let's go ahead and take our tool here. Let's say our entry is at 46 for a breakout and we get the max potential. That's 94% return guys. And again, this is oversold. If we use this candle, how much can it move? Aver to our average range when it squeezes. Let's just go ahead and do this. Let's activate that marker and let's say we enter at 76 guys it's got room all the way to 120 so how much will that give us as a percentage 159 percent return now again don't get um so emotional and caught up when you see the watch list okay when you see the watch list guys and um you see me post something like this where you look at the percentage and you go oh this one has 60 percent i'm gonna buy crkn i'm gonna go with this one because this one has the best and the most percentage gain so this is my pick and i'm gonna go with it you know it's it doesn't work like that yeah that's the potential crkn has maybe this 31 percent or smmt has the better setup and has the a 90% chance of the 30% being given to us versus a 10% chance that 60% is going to be given or anything is going to be given to us in CRKN. We, before we take an entry, we've got to make sure that the potential for that to happen is there. All right. Now, this is just based on technicals. Other people have to see it. There's got to be other traders, other you know investors seeing the same setup that I see so that they can jump in and take advantage of it we need the volume we need people to be seeing that stock right 
There might be more people seeing SMMT based on its current action. Let me take you back to SMMT. Look at this action, guys. I mean, you got the push and then you got this consolidating pattern, this flag pennant pattern, and then the continued push. This is a better setup than what CRKN has, right? CRKN, again, this is something that's barely starting to develop. We got an oversold pattern. We've got a potential reversal, which is not even clear right now. It's just, you know, every time it pops, it gets knocked back down. But we do have an increase in volume. And as it's curling back up, we do have a decrease in volume, which is something that we want to see. As it's making its way higher, you know, we would want to see the entry around this first resistance level, around the 30 cent level. That would be where we want to enter, right? So we can create an alert there. And we can create alerts as it's going up. I already have them here. So I'm not going to do that. So if we break over the 50 EMA and we end up closing, if we get a candle closing somewhere like this, guys, and it's green, you know that we're going to, we're going to go. This is going to go. It's going to squeeze. I'm more than certain that it's going to happen. You know, these are patterns that typically end up working. Of course, let me remind you that even the best patterns tend to fail, but we trade what we see and we trade what we know must and has the best potential to work. So this is something that we would want to see on Monday. If we close it like this, we enter in the afternoon and then boom, we swing it to the next day. All right. So that's a CRKN and I have one more for you all. I have a few more, but I'm going to end it here. I don't want to make this too long. BTGN. Guys, VTGN, just a huge sell-off here. Got a big gap down. Okay, it's been trading in this range where I have my two price levels here. But today it had a, a great uh, price action. Not a much, not much on relative volume, but you know the potential for it to keep on going. And you know we got a huge gap to fill. I'm not, I'm not saying it's gonna fill it. I don't think it's gonna fill it. We have room all the way up here to 60 cents. I would be happy with half of it to 40, even, I don't know, what's that, 30? I would be happy with that, guys. Where would I enter this? I would enter this right here at 16 cents. That would be my main target based on this um, resistance and support level right there at the 16 cent level. You can see there's support, support, oh, um, excuse me, support, support, Resistance, 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 resistance. So that would be the, the key level to be broken, 16 cents. Now, if it does take off, and let's just say to this next resistance level at 24 cents, that's a 50% return, guys. So we would want to take profits here for sure. And then if it sets up again, this is where we would want to exit. Uh, excuse me guys let me go ahead and put it let's set it in red so that we know this is where we're gonna stop you know and again any profits along the way they're always welcome guys I'm not saying it's gonna get there this is max potential for now if it breaks over that then you know the sky's the limit for this stock but you know we have a setup we have something to look forward to now is it gonna break out tomorrow no again we gotta make sure that if it does come back down a whole support whole support and as it's coming back up and test this level it might take two three days for it to do that it might be one two three four candles five candles and then we enter five days you know after watching it for five days we enter and then we take that position and hopefully get that move higher right so you just gotta be ready for it you just gotta set your alerts you gotta be looking at this kind of of stocks you know there's price action there's uh people interested in it at these levels that's what we're looking for so every time you're looking for some setups look for that to be in the stock in the chart and always use a one year one day guys that's all i have for you catch on the next one